So welcome back. As you guys saw from that little unboxing, it's a new belt day for me today. And um, it's been a while. I haven't filmed since last year. Um, yeah, man, I can't really, I haven't been really gotten, getting any belts. Like I have a lot of belts being made at the time. And this belt that I got, I've re-leathered it and I've re-stoned it. And um, let's unwrap this bad boy up. Give me a second here. Yeah, we're just gonna get right into it. Uh, shout out to Mr. Ryan Stokes for this belt. Well, for his leather work on this belt. And as well as Mr. Richard Simpson. He did the stone work. He packaged this very well, as you guys saw from the unboxing video earlier. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. Goodness, ooh. Damn, oh man, that leather work, oh. Here we, hold, oh my gosh, I'm taking you all off, baby. I'm gonna I'm snip, snip, ooh. Let me just, let me bask in its glory. This is the one and Oh my, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, ooh, this is, oh my, oh my goodness, ah, uh, ah, uh, okay, let's, uh, well, you guys already know what this belt is, it's the Lux Fan Do Edition all gold but i had it re-leathered too when triple h when eric bischoff awarded triple h the belt and uh man i damn this is it looks 10 times better with the re-leather work uh yeah this is oh my goodness this is damn this is nice man this is the leather work is really outstanding uh okay oh, i can't even talk this is Dang, I, uh, you guys are seeing this firsthand the way I'm seeing it, like right now. Uh, okay, anyways, um, let me just put this over the shoulder. Yeah, whoo, this is dope. Okay, um, well, let me tell you guys about the process. It took a while because I shipped this belt out, so I shipped the plates out to Richard Simpson on April 21st of last year, and he was finished with it by April 27th, and I told him as well. Uh, in, in the in between time if he could ship the plates to um, Ryan Stokes to be re-leathered all I had to do was provide him with Ryan's address and he shipped it right away So with Ryan I waited pretty long to get my belt re-leathered because he is a busy man and He had a lot of orders um, That he he was doing at the time So he started working on the belt on November 14th of last year So as soon as he started working on the belt he showed me a uh, the cow, the, the, the cut that he was gonna use. But before that though, he showed me, like I told him what I wanted. And I told him I wanted the exact same cut that Triple H, well, Eric Bischoff introduced with this particular belt when he awarded Triple H the title back in 2002, I believe. And he was ecstatic because not a lot of people have asked for that leather cut. A lot of people have asked for either the Crumb Rind style or the two by five style, which is by Jmar. I sent him all the pit. So to be very, uh, so Ryan was very good with detail because I sent him all the pics that I saw on the internet because I wanted to be exactly ring accurate. And he guided me throughout the whole situation because um, he told me, hey man, do you want it two by five uh, on both sides? I thought it was two, two by five. And he said, no, it's actually but, uh, on the male side, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven on the male side and six on the female side on the snap count. So it's two by seven and two by six. And I told him, oh, of course, man, I want it to be exactly the way how he had it, how Triple H had it at that time and Shawn Michaels. And um, he also showed me in this particular area on the bottom of the belt, it was a lot longer. And... But from the pictures, it was like trimmed down looking like this. 
but um, since you know how wrestlers are with their belts, it rolled. So it was rolling all the way up and I didn't really like that on the leather. Like if it was, since it was a certain length, so it would roll up because people would just, you know, it's a prop for them. And I, and I told Ryan, I'm like, hey man, can you just trim that down? Well, actually Ryan told me it looked better also. Me and him both agreed that it looked better trimmed down than it would be a, a longer on the original cut. So this is somewhat of a hybrid of um, the original cut that it was in. On the top part, it's the original cut, but on the bottom, it's completely different. It's trimmed down slightly, just slightly a little bit. And throughout the process, Ryan, again, he, um, he communicated with me on, yo man, your belt's being cut. I just cut the, uh, the leather piece for it. Yo, uh, I just put dye on it. Yo, I put the snaps on it. Yo, I put the backing on it. Yo, I'm doing, uh, the stitching on it, I, 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 honestly, uh, this is not how in order how he said it, but this is how I'm thinking of it in my head um, at the moment I'm recording this. But yeah, that's how he did it. Uh, he kept me in touch out of every single step that he was doing, and yeah. I'll show you guys how this belt looks over the shoulder, around the waist, and all that jazz. This is how the belt looks, just as the leather goes. This is how the belt looks over the shoulder. Ugh. That just flaps down. Yeah, Ryan really did a great job on this. And this is how it looks folded. There you go. And can't forget about the Santiago pose. There you go. So yeah. And I'll show you guys how this belt looks around the waist. And yeah. And not and this is how the uh, belt looks around the waist. 